Oh, come on, Adrian. Roll the dice. Roll the dice. I can't. I got no hands. Ugh, fine. I'll do it for you. Six. Right. Pick a card. I still have no hands. Oh, do I have to do everything? Listen, Gumball, do you really want to be doing this? I mean, we've never hung out before, and now we're having a sleepover. Can I ask for your opinion, Alfred? Can I at least phone my mom? Fine, but keep it quick. Still no hands. Number! <laughs> this is going to be the most fun you've ever had. All for just ten bucks. Catch! Catch! What are you doing? No hands! Oh. Look, Gumball, what's really going on here? Oh, Arthur. Who am I kidding? I'm not having as much fun as I've been making out. All I can think of is Darwin. Go to him. Huh? Your best buddy is about to play computer games with someone who's rich, athletic, multicolored, and a good listener. He'll never play Dodge or Dare with you again. <gasps> They'll be best friends forever and I'll just be a memory. I have to get my best buddy back. <gasps> but it's too late. Dude, it's never too late for friendship. Yes! I'll never forget you, Adam! Andrew! Please, let me your bike. I'm about to lose my best friend. Okay. 50 bucks. <gasps> 20 bucks. 70. <gasps> Get out of the way! I can't! Get out of the way! I'm a brick wall! Hey, Mutt, what's with all the commotion? <laughs> Garden, I think. <gasps> Come ball. Dude, I'm outside. Oh. Oh, man. Ow. And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome to the stage our second and final act, Mr. Gaylord Robinson! Good luck, Dad! <clears throat> Up till now, my life's been good. Treated me well. I can't complain. Met a woman, raised a kid, and every day just felt the same. But there's something deep inside of me that always wanted to be free. And now I think the time is right to show you what I mean. I want to sing, I want to dance, I want to touch the sky with my own two hands. If I sing to the world, it'll set me free and let me be who I want to be. Dance, dance and sing. 
I'm gonna give What's it he my doing? I don't know, but it's pretty and good. Now's our chance to assassinate. As I whisk you off to a wonderland. I'll hip hop and jive with my heart. Did Gumball see any of that? Stand the bump to the rock and the roll. I'll Maybe you notice the trap door. I'll fly like a bird if you set me free. Like a skylark on the wing. A rosebud in the spring. Like a gangster in his bling. Like fish bait from a sling. Like a puppet with no string. Like an English feudal king. Like all those kinds of wonderful, wonderful things. Show yourself assassin and fight like a man. Let's try the special effects. Under the seat. Whoa, who is this guy? That's my dad. Rock on, dude! I wanna be free! Thank you, everybody. Encore. I love you. You put me where I am today. Thank you so much. Oh, no. I think we squished Mr. Robinson. Nah, he's okay. Let's go home. Watch, boys. You kiss them. What? what? Hold on. Don't tell me you don't have boyfriends. You do, Molly, right? Uh, sure I do. You don't know him, though. He's way older, and he's in high school. Wow! Well, my boyfriend's so old that he doesn't have a babysitter. Wow! wow. Well, mine's so old, he stopped wearing braces. Wow! Well, mine is so old that he doesn't have teeth. <sighs> I wish I had a boyfriend. Uh, oh. Did Penny see my stunt? Don't tell me you want to impress those, those, those perfume sissies. You mean those girls over there? <laughs> nah. <gasps> they wouldn't care about a handsome bachelor, 12 years old who likes world cinema, fine dining, extreme sports, and long romantic walks on the beach by moonlight. Let's make a pact. Right here, right now. Pals before gals. Pals, Pals before, before gals! gals! Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait! Let's make a blood pack! So, your turn to tell us, Masami. Do you have a boyfriend? Uh, yeah, huh? He's... It's... It's... Darwin! Darwin? Darwin? Yeah, he's great because he's got legs and, you know, a head. Okay. Dude, stop it already. <laughs> guys, guys, guys! Enemy at 12 o'clock. No, this way! Here he is! Remember, pals before gals. Hello, sweet cheeks. What? what? Oh, come on. He's not your boyfriend, Masami. <laughs> he so is. Look, help my book boyfriend. Uh... 
Okay. I'll show you how much he likes me at the tree house. <laughs> I can't believe it. You, 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 the, the girl lover! It's always the quiet ones. She's not my girlfriend! What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I know. I'll just run away and hide forever. I'll never forget you guys. That was dramatic. Hey, Gumbo. Hey, Penny. Wanna walk me to the canteen? Definitely not. Definitely not now, but... Maybe later? Ahem. <sighs> okay. See you later. Gumbo. <laughs> I'm scared. Darwin? I thought you'd run away forever. I got hungry. <gasps> <laughs> oh no! The hair! What am I gonna do now? Don't worry, buddy. If you can't see them, they can't see you. Oh! No. <laughs> okay, I think we're safe. Ah! Hey. Yeah, hi. I was just talking about you, boyfriend. Come and sit by me. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy, Sugar Lumps. Give me a hug. Excuse me. Room for one more? <sighs> so, Mr. and Mrs. Watterson, I called you in today to discuss concerns regarding your daughter, Anais. Judging by this alarming painting, you, madam, are suffering from work-related stress. You, sir, are not a good role model. And these two children are clearly lacking in discipline. When I look at this painting, I see a family that... A family that has problems. Principal Brown, if I may interrupt... Oh, don't worry, sweetie. It's not your fault. It's your fault! I'm sorry, Princess Cheesecake. The sausage fairy made me do it. Sweetie, I had no idea we were such a terrible family. <laughs> Please, please. Anyway, for the good of your family, I've drawn up a recovery schedule to get you back on track. Woohoo! <laughs> I'll make it short. You, madam, need to stop working and relax. Your husband needs to stop relaxing and work. As for you, Gumball and Darwin, <laughs> you'll be spending the day with Mr. Small, the school counselor, to channel your energy in a less destructive way. Well, Principal, we'd be happy to try anything if you think it's going to help Anais. Can I just say something? You don't need to, uh. sweetie. We're all going to get better. Right, boys? Uh-huh. I said, right, boys? Yes, of course, honey. What did I just agree to? You gotta get a job. No! Well, thank you, Principal Brown. We'll do our best. Mr. Water. Welcome to my five-step program for undisciplined children. Step one, primal scream. What's that? It's when you channel all your rage into a violent vocal release, like this. Ah! You guys try it. Uh, I don't think I have any rage. Me neither. Everyone has anger, Gumball. Just look inside yourself and find it. Inside? Yes, hang, uh, no, nothing at all. Try it anyway. Okay. <gasps> oh, you could do better than that. <gasps> okay, Darwin, your turn. Take a deep breath and let it all out. <gasps> Okay, Nicole, relax. It's for the good of my daughter, so I'm just going to sit and do nothing.
Oh, this is going to be hard. So, how about those FK reports that Simon drew up? Oh, yeah. I was reading them in the bathroom. Ha! Too much information, Charlie. <laughs> 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 I think you're the best employee we ever had at Chanex Incorporated. Here's the key to the executive washroom. <gasps> no way. Way, way, way! Well, all I have to do is make that dream come true and I'll be fine. I'll do it for you, my little girl! Ooh. And need that key to the executive washroom? <laughs> <laughs> so, if Penny didn't do it, who did? Hmm, it must have been you! I said it was him! <gasps> Why me? Well, yesterday you were wandering around when suddenly, at the age of 27, you realized your youth was behind you. Oh. Then all your hair fell out. Bummer. When you saw Principal Brown's lustrous hairy coat, you were overcome with jealousy. Yeah. And acting on impulse, you attacked him. <laughs> you frantically plucked out all of his hair, dyed it the right color, and used it to cover your balding shame. Then planning to mislead any investigation, you painted Principal Brown, wrapped him in toilet paper, and stuffed him into my locker. The perfect crime. <laughs> Save for one thing. Huh? When you stuck the new hair on your body, there wasn't quite enough which explains this bald spot on your hand. <gasps> Dude, you've got it all wrong. I got this bald spot when I was cleaning yesterday. You see, I spilt some really strong chemicals on my hand and it burnt off the hair. See? Ah! If that's the case, how come I can just pull your hair right off? Ah! Oh, stop! Ah! No! Ah! Oh, okay then. I guess it wasn't you. Who could it be? All this suspense is making me sweaty. Why don't you just wipe your brow with that toilet paper suspiciously stuck to the bottom of your shoe? <gasps> I can't believe I'm about to say this, buddy, but... It was you! <gasps> yes, yes! I did it! I'm a monster! A monster! Just lock me up. I'm a menace to society. <laughs> Take me away! I rest my case. But Darwin couldn't have done it. Really? We all saw you on the bus when we went home. Then how do you explain the toilet paper? You've had it on your feet all day, dude. Didn't you notice? Nope. Don't remember any toilet paper. So it wasn't Penny. It wasn't Rocky, and it wasn't Darwin, which leaves us with only one suspect, the only person who knew the combination to the locker Principal Brown was found in. <gasps> you! <gasps> oh. <laughs> That's all the proof I need! You're coming with me, Watterson! Wait! You're forgetting one bit of crucial evidence. And what's that? I'll just go and get it. He's not coming back, is he? No. No homework for the one who catches him! Yeah! Sugar? <laughs> it probably just needs more sugar. Tastes 
like salt. <laughs> That's because I swapped the sugar for the salt. <laughs> it was the greatest prank ever. Okay, you got me. But that's not the greatest prank. This is. Hey, Dad, does this ketchup look funny to you? Hmm, I'll check. But afterwards, don't forget to show me that prank you were talking about. Looks okay to me. Ah! <laughs> What'd you do that for? You got ketchup all over me. That was the prank. <laughs> yeah, we did it because it's funny. No, it isn't. It's only funny when it happens to someone else. How could you do this to your own father? <laughs> that wasn't very nice. You two should know better. What? You didn't tell him off for pranking us. You know it's too late for your father. I want you two to apologize by the time I get back. Do you think Mr. Dad would be okay? Nah, he probably forgot about it already. Hello, children. Hey, hey Dad. Dad. Why don't you try on these lovely new shoes? This is a prank, isn't it? What? Pr prank? What me prank you? With? No! <laughs> no! I would like to return these shoes, please. Unfortunately, sir, you seem to have filled them with baked beans. I did nothing of the sort, sir! Well, I'm sure you wouldn't mind putting them on and taking a walk to prove it, huh? And I'm sure I wouldn't mind either. <laughs> on second thought, I think I shall keep them. I happen to have grown quite attached to them. Welcome to Pranks for Beginners. Over the next 30 minutes... 30 minutes?! That's two subs, a muffin, and a tub of ice cream. Oh, and I better get a sausage for the last 19 seconds. Mm. <coughs> Mental note. Next time, take food for the journey back as well. Step one. Go out onto the roof of the house. Step two. Take off all of your clothes. <laughs> Step three. Pretend that you are a ballerina while repeatedly slapping yourself in the face. <laughs> Dude, this cannot be real. I'm a ballerina! I'm a ballerina! I'm a ballerina! I'm a ballerina! Step five. Realize you've just been pranked. Step six. Try and fit down the chimney head first. <laughs> Oh, look. He's been up all night trying to find a way to get back at us. Yep, he's definitely out cold. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on his face when he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> in your face! <laughs> oh, I wish I could kick people like this in real life. Hey, nice costumes, guys. You have a spare one? Nah, sorry, Dad. I'm not sure you're ready for the responsibility. <sighs> I understand. Come on, Darwin. Let's go practice some killer moves. Okay, dude. You know what a true warrior needs for a good warm-up? Mittens and a scarf? No, Darwin's son. Inspiration. Every time I look in the mirror, all I see is the inner warrior staring back at me. Oh, Richard, I'm so worried about them. Why? It's a great track. They're obsessed with those outfits, and the kids at school are making fun of them. You know how mean kids can be. Richard? <sighs> I know they're just costumes, but if people make fun of them, they'll never get girlfriends or a job. And in 20 years' time, they'll still be living here and wearing those ridiculous karate outfits. Combo. Yeah? I think we wasted our lives. Boys? Hi, Hi Mom. Mom! Check out Darwin's sweet scissor kick. 
When did you post this? We didn't. Some kids at school did. Boys, look at the title. Taekwon dorks. I think they might be making fun of you. Nah, they just spelled Taekwondo wrong. Korean spelling is very complicated. There's loads of other fellow senseis on here. Look. <laughs> hey! <sighs> I need to tell you a story. Cool! Is it a fable about a great martial arts warrior? Not exactly. When your father was at school, he thought he was the Cottontail oh, Cavalier. Cavalier! <laughs> <laughs> Costume geek! <laughs> Leave him alone! At least he's brave enough to be himself. He was lucky there was one girl who loved him for who he really was. What a sad story. But whatever happened to the cape? Well, I managed to get it off him and hide it. What? You mean the president didn't really need my cape? I'm sorry, honey. <gasps> it's because of you I'm mortal! <laughs> you see, that's the kind of state you can get into when you refuse to grow up. Gumball, I don't want to be a costumed geek. It's okay, Darwin. Mom, we'll stop wearing the outfits if it'll make you happy. Thank you, boys. I'm so proud of you. You'll see, it's for the best. Life's about abandoning Dream after dream Hopes and expectations Float away downstream It's time to kiss our childish ways goodbye Grow up, give mediocrity a try the games they have to stop no more high Not even a karate chop They suck to what maturity means And forget about a martial arts dreams <sighs> Well I think I'm cured. Me too. I almost think I could put it back on, you know, just one last time, and I'd be fine. I reckon if I put mine back on, it would do nothing. <laughs> oh. Are you ready? Yes. Run that way. <laughs> Welcome to level one. The leap. Leap of faith. Eh, sounds easy enough. <gasps> oh, did I say the leap of faith? I meant the leap of filth! Oh. Oh. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Uh-huh. Forgotten about the kiss yet? No. Then on your feet, Gumball. You really stink. But you're in love! You're gonna take a shower! It's level two! The shower of slime! <gasps> Forgotten yet? About what? How about the kiss? Oh, I had, but you just reminded me. Oh, then welcome to level three! The see-through sack of sweaty cheese! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Forgotten it? No! <laughs> what are you guys doing here? We're your next level! The sounds of suffering! <laughs> the worst. Really? <sighs> okay, do it. <laughs> so? So, what? You 
did what? I carried your suitcase up to your room. Oh, well, good for you, dear. Now bring it back down. My bus will be here any minute. Give me a kiss goodbye and put my bags on the bus. Mm. A little bit faster this time, please. Granny Jojo, Gumball's found his happy place. That's nice, fish kid. Now kiss me goodbye. Granny Jojo! I found my happy place. Yeah, whatever. Now give your Granny Jojo a kiss goodbye. Of course. Gumball, give me a hand with this bag. Okay. Look, Darwin, we waited more than seven months for this. I know. We waited so long, I had time to grow hair. Huh? Whoa. May I touch it? You may. Nice. Thanks. Come on, put the game on! Oh, come on, come on. Oh, there you are. Oh, there's something wrong with it. Try the other way around! Uh, uh. Come on! Can't you see I'm frantic? Flipping my flipper? What is that supposed to mean? It means put the game on! I can't! It's not working! I think we got stiffed. I'm sorry, kids, but it's store policy. I can't give you a refund. What? You have to! We asked you a ton of questions before we bought it, remember? What's bigger, a lion or a tiger? A tiger. Why is the sky blue? Diffraction of light through nitrogen. Can anything escape from a black hole? Not unless it's a superheated quasar. What is 2,352 times 1,035? 2,434,320. If you know all this stuff, how come you're a store clerk? Look, you want this game or not? We'll take it. Actually, you never asked me anything about the game. Oh, you're right. But whatever, you have to give us a refund. It's been less than 24 hours. Look, guys, if it was up to me, I'd totally give you a refund. But the manager won't allow it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Thank you for shopping at Ripley 2000. This is not the end of it, Larry Needlemeyer. Mark my words, we will get a refund. Hi, Larry. Can we have a refund, please? Get out of here. Ripley 2000. More like Rip Off 2000! Why is it 2000 anyway? It's not like it's the future anymore. Hi. Yes, Mr. Manager. I, uh, no, sir. I certainly didn't give a refund to those kids. Yes, I brought your suit to the dry cleaners and walked your dogs. Actually, the big one bit me. Oh, yes, he, he can be playful. This is why I was seven minutes late. Oh, yes, Mr. Manager, sir. It was entirely my fault. It won't happen again, sir. Have a nice day. Oh. This is the police! Ah. You're surrounded! Put your hands where I can see them! <laughs> now put your hands on the cash register and take out $20! Now go outside and swap it for this computer game! Hey, what kind of police are you? The... Super Real Police! The... Uh, refund Department! Of... Justice! Nice try, kids. Darn! Uh, look, kids, I'm not going to give you a refund. We're not here to ask for a refund. We just want you to look at my new shiny watch. Uh, it's kind of hard when you swing it like that. Did it work? Is he hypnotized? Let's test it. Okay, you're the world's most amazing dancer. <laughs> Ostrich. No, a gorilla! A gorilla <laughs> ostrich! <laughs> now you have roller skates on! <laughs> and your butt's on fire! <laughs> <laughs> and now you're a store clerk giving us a refund? Sorry, it's against store policy. <sighs> now your butt's on fire again. Oh, come on. I told you, no refund. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going to ask you for a refund. We just want two minutes of your time. Every year, hundreds of children buy faulty computer games and don't get refunds. 
This is Jimmy. Darwin, do something! But, but... <laughs> Which one is the real gumball? The one that's obviously not a robot! Okay. Ow! Why'd you do that? You told me to. I told you to hit the robot! That's exactly what the robot would have said. <sighs> Bobbert, this has gone too far. We need to reboot you. Please, allow me to say one thing before you do. Uh, this is going to be sad. We're listening, buddy. Initiating self-defense protocol. <laughs> Richard, check on them, please. Hey, boys, you all right? Yeah, we're all right. Yeah, they're all right. Ah! <sighs> okay, listen, you go out and distract them. I'll sneak up and reboot them. No problem. Hey! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that, you psychotic satellite dish? that something that once seemed insignificant would come out and help me right now. Hold on! I'll save you! Okay, something else insignificant. It's too late for that. about it. No! Is he all right? Define all right. Whew. You know what? I think it's better for everyone if you stay you and I stay me. Affirmative. This is even longer than last time. Come on, dude, let's watch TV. Come on, dude, let's watch TV. What was that? Nothing. She thinks she's so dumb. Well, I'll show her who's the dumbest in the whole town. Then Dad will be mine again. <laughs> yes. Can you tell us why we're here now? You're here to race. As you can see, I gathered the stupidest people in town. Word. Everyone has to wear a blindfold and run as fast as they can. The person who gets the furthest is officially the dumbest. Dad, you'll be the referee. OK, guys. I want a good, clean race. Anyone opening their eyes is disqualified. On your mark, get set, wait for it, go! 
Ugh, I can't resist the call of dumbness. <laughs> 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 Who's the dumbest? Who's the dumbest? <laughs> Mama? I'm a banana split. <laughs> it hurts. This is just the perfect day. <laughs> I was wondering. Yes, Lawrence? Will you marry me? Oh, this is happening so fast. Um, oh, I'm not saying no. Definitely not saying no. <sighs> but I need to think about this. At home, and I'm taking it back. Are you kidding, Gumbo? I just wanted to be dumb for a day. No one could be dumber than you. Wow, that's a really nice thing to say. I kind of feel awkward now. Should we just hug? Oh, sh yeah, okay. Ah! Whoa, that was close. I think we got dumped ourselves. Let's go home. Ow! Huh? Oh, the eyes! I blew it! <sighs> Hello, I'm Dr. Butt, and I'm going to take your temperature. Dad, I can't play Butt Puppet right now. <sighs> I was only trying to help. <sighs> This is all your fault, Richard. Well, as referee, I took every precaution I could. And six kids ended up in the hospital. Four Rocky and Mir grown-ups. Word. And you, Gumball Watterson, that was a very dumb thing to do. Aw, thanks. <sighs> and as for you, young lady, I expected more. I know, Mom. I don't think I want to be dumb anymore. Because it hurts so bad! And all this because you guys wanted to be my favorite, when we all know, in fact, that Darwin is my favorite. Fish! My favorite fish! Wait a minute. Where, Where is, is Darwin? Darwin? Did I win yet? Did I win yet? Did I win yet? It's no use, Darwin. We're gonna be stuck in here forever. It's the last time I come in here to whistle for you. But if you don't whistle, I can't go. I never thought it would end like this. Stuck in a bathroom forever. At least we've had some pretty good times. And some crummy ones, too. Look, Darwin, if we don't get out of here, there's something I need to tell you. <gasps> Remember that time they found a creepy picture in your school book and you said you didn't do it? Well, that was me. What? I had to go to counseling for that. I lost my whole summer. I'm sorry, dude. Mr. Small put me in an isolation tank. Well, let's not dwell on the past. <gasps> Gumball, there's something I haven't told you, too. And it's probably going to shock you. What? Is it really bad or something? It's pretty bad, yeah. Last week... Oh, man, I'm so glad it's you. I thought this place was haunted by a couple of screaming girls. We're, We're saved. saved! How long have we been here? About three minutes. Oh, uh, wait, what were you going to say back there, by the way? Huh? You were going to say something, remember? Oh, don't worry about that now. We're free. <laughs> I love this game. It's so much fun. Yep. Hey, you know what else was fun? When we were stuck in the bathroom and you were going to tell me that secret. Yeah, that was fun. 
Just out of curiosity, what was that little secret? It's better you don't know. Sure, but I told you mine, therefore I think it's better you tell me yours. Nah, let's just play instead. Yeah, let's just play. Look at him standing there, knowing his secret. I'll get it out of him if it's the last thing I do. Wow, you're pretty good at this. Go, old pal. What's the occasion? Can't the guy just make a meal for his best buddy? This hasn't got anything to do with the secret, has it? Secret? No. What secret? Hmm. You're giving me this food, so I'll tell you the secret, aren't you? Am I? Aren't you? <sighs> Did you do something to this food? I don't know. <laughs> Did I? Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Tap's a little tight, eh? Hey? <laughs> Looks like we're all out of drinks. Oh, wait, what's this? You want it? What's the secret? Oh, well. of a liar looks like. Ew. Notice the dark abyss here. That's the corrupt soul of the liar. But Mr. Small, we're not liars. Huh. You should tell that to the last boy that sat there and lied to me. He's there now. The prison? No, next to it. The cemetery? What happened to him? He just works there. <sighs> now, let me show you something. This is the lying hat. Now, watch what happens when I put it on. Your mother called. Oh. She says she hates you. <gasps> she does? I think my heart just broke. It's okay, kids. That was a lie. <sighs> but you see, that's what a lie will do. Hurt your feelings. She hates you. Aww. She loves you. Yay. Hates you. Aww. Loves you. Yay. Hates you. Aww. Loves you. Aww. Hates you. Loves you. Hates 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 you. So, what have we learned today? Never trust a man in a hat. Yes, but what else? Uh... Honesty is the best policy. Oh. Say it. Honesty, Honesty is, the is the best, best policy. policy. Good. And again. Honesty, Honesty is, is the best, best policy. policy. Honesty, Honesty is, is the best policy. Honesty is the best policy. Honesty is the best policy. Okay, Darwin, remember, from now on, we only tell the truth. Okay. Your face is too big. <gasps> Well, when you say us, your gills whistle. You smell so stinky. Sailors sing sea shanties about your stinkiness. When you're asleep, your face looks like this. When you're awake, your face looks like this. You walk like a princess. You walk like a pigeon. OK, that's us covered. Let's bring our honesty to the world. You've got a monogram. <laughs> You've got no hands. Just being honest, your face is burnt. <gasps> I love you, but well, he'll never make the first move. <laughs> He's having a party on Friday, and he didn't invite you. What? Sorry, man, you're just not cool enough. Whoa, this one is long overdue. Hey, Tina, you smell, and it's not very ladylike. It's like a sweaty watch strap. Nah, it's more like raw chicken and rancid milk in a plastic bag. 
Yeah, that's been left in the sun for a week. Okay, now that we have your smelliness covered, let's move on to your personality. Ow. Yep, <sighs> the truth hurts. Let's leave all this behind and go and live on a desert island. But how would we survive? On fruit, water, and love. <clears throat> Did you ask us in here for a reason? Yes, of course, Watterson. I've been getting a lot of complaints. What on earth's gotten into you? Principal Brown, can I be honest with you? Uh, I... Y yes. I can't help thinking that your relationship with Miss Simeon could be compromising your professionalism. I completely agree, Gumball. And frankly, I fear my education is suffering as a result. And besides, Principal Brown, you could do so much better than that. Okay, so you got honesty wrong. Perhaps we should try something else. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. Uh, one second. <clears throat> Hello, children. I'm the honesty bear. Okay. That guy is such a gluteous Maximus. Hey, Bobber, what you doing? I'm on the internet, the largest source of knowledge in the world. Why don't you get connected? Uh, hi, hello, is that the internet? Oh, you need to click the icon. <laughs> you need to click the icon. Which one is the icon? Dude, it's the only thing on the screen. I knew that. Your memory could not cope. You crashed. I had to reboot you. Oh, come on. There's got to be something in this library making people smart. This is such a great book. I'd like to borrow this book, please. Book. 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 That's it. They're all watching books. Hey. Shh. Hey, shh. Hey, shh. I think my book is broken. I've been watching it for ages and I'm still not smart. You don't watch books, you read them. Shh. People are trying to work. Okay, Brain, let's get reading. <gasps> Once upon a time. That's it. I'm out of here. I've had enough. I'm off to watch TV. Hey. Where do you think you're going? I didn't sign up for this. I quit. You can't quit. There's no way I'm gonna pass a test without a brain. Please, I need you. We'll never pass. I'm stupid. Then, then I am going to make you smart, like Darwin. Uh, sir, you appear to have a bit of ink on your face. Are you sure there's nothing else you want, honey? Ask for anything. Well, uh... Can I have two cans of soda? Quick, Richard, the fridge. Oh, and some jelly beans. But only the yellow ones. Okay. Uh, are you sure there's nothing else to wear, Mrs. Watterson? Please, honey. You can call us Mom and Dad. <laughs> Read it! Aren't you tired of being so useless? Years and years of insults and abuse. Remember. I'd rather ask for you, people! Definitely. Loser. Okay, I'm ready. Then prove it. This may take a while. I was a feeble-minded guy I'd slip on ice and wonder why So many obstacles were thrown my way On a downward slide each and every day But something popped inside my brain I got up to fight that fight again And I knew what to do I went through the mental pain You gotta think big, think deep Pretty soon Make that quantum leap Think big, think small Make your brain your finest body part The 
greater 